this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. I am neither, because I have seen the unthinkable. Now let's play this. Individuals suffering through anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. And for content warning, please visit. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? I've suffered through depression, which is very small. <laughs> I'm fine with this. I'm used to stuff like this. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at thir at least 13 years of age. I am definitely over 13. And you consent of your exposure to highly dispersing. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Today we are playing a new kind of game. God. The, the things in my headphones. So we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club. And... Yes, I am aware of this game is anime and it's popular, but yes, I've heard a lot about this game. So let's start a new game and play this like any. Please enter your name. Oh boy, I don't want to act lesbian here. Um, uh, I'll just here. I'll make up a name that fits me. How about? How about my? My secondary friend's name, Flame. No, I don't even put my planet's name. It's Flamey. Now, Flamey is my planet. So, Flamey is what I should put. So, I am Flamey. Congratulations. Hey, oh crap. Is this some kind of. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious. And to any attention, she might draw to herself. Okay. That girl is Sayori. My neighbor, and is a very good friend since we're children. Oh, I've had friends like that before. You know the kind of friend that you see yourself making it today. But it kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. What? We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would be tired of waking up. <laughs> oh my god, I totally feel I hate waking up in the morning. But I just have to, or else I'll miss the bus. And she's going to chase after me like this? I almost feel better up running away. However, I just sigh in front of the crosswalk. Okay. Oh, there's Sayori. Ah! <laughs> Why did I name it like that? I overslept again! I'm just going to do random voices for these characters. But I caught you this time! Yeah, you did. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you! Uh, why are you saying you think you're ignoring me? <laughs> I fit that voice really well. I mean flamey. That mean flaming. Hey, I'm not mean. You're mean. Oh, people stare at you for acting weird. Then I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. What? We are not a couple. How dare you? Fine, fine. But you didn't wait for me after all. I did wait for you. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean when even if you want to. Whatever you're saying, Sayori. Hehehehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the street, something crucially speckled with the other students makes her daily commute. By the way, Flamey, have you decided on what club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, but one of many other conversations I would nicely go along with whatever she's talking on about. <laughs> so you already like to worry a bit too much about me, which I'm perfectly content about getting the average spending my free time on games on anime. Games and anime? I still only do games and draw, you idiot. <laughs> uh-huh. I was talking about how worried you were and you know, to socialize with any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Uh, kind of is, Sayori. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in just a few years because you're not used to the real world. <laughs> I like the word neat. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. I'm right afraid. Look at a few clubs that would make you happy. No promises, though. 
Well, you at least promised you'd try a little. Yeah, I guess. I promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? <laughs> oh, boy. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much that she makes me want to ease her mind a little bit. You know, she does exaggerate everything out of her head. God, there she is again. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. Sneak. I looked around and realized I'm the only one left in the classroom. Oh, boy. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you, you're you even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Hey. Hey, Ori. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought I might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Know what? Well, you come to my club. Wait, wh Sayori. Yeah! There's no way I'm going to your club. And me. <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I ever was aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to start up our new club. Since so she was the first one to show interest after the one. The one who proposed to the club. She inherited the title Vice President. Oh. I said my interest in literature guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. I want to see some of John make my new game. She's a lot like me. Come on. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Atsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. If I can't tell Sayori that that much of an airhead, uh, or she's just cutting, I have a plan. All right, I had a long time. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay! Let's go. Okay, I guess we're going to the literature club, and thus marks the day I sold myself for a cupcake. <laughs> What the heck is that? <laughs> Why? I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school upstairs to a section of no man. I'm not going to read all this because it's going to take too long. It's going to make the video like a jillion minutes long. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Back. Eh? I go into around the room. Go on. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? I am not a boy! I mean, why are people mistaking me for a boy all the time? This is unbelievable. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, oh, Blamey, what a nice surprise. Oh, hey, that one looks like, looks like Senpai from Friday Night Funkin'. People keep saying that that's... Senpai's sister. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Huh? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Oh, jeez. This is gonna turn me- I'm not- I'm, I'm definitely not gonna be a lesbian. This is only for the game! Only for the game! What are you looking at? You wanna say something? Say it. S sor- Like, sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. Girl with the sour, sour attitude, whose apparently name is Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes it think she's probably a, a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori sat quietly into my ear, then turns back at the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. For some reason, Yuri kind of reminds me of Megan, to be honest. <laughs> she's She has long hair, very serious and smart, and I haven't seen her smile that much. Katie, if you're referencing to me, Megan, quit it! <laughs> I swear, this is not going to be the first time you make fun of me. It definitely isn't the first time. I'm going to my room, okay? All right. You're going to our room? Shut up! 
<laughs> oh, smart. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like, oh boy. That reminds me of Megan so bad. <laughs> ah, well, it's nice to me both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Flamey. Monica, no lie, she actually looks a lot like me, to be honest, but with longer hair. Monica smiles sweetly. We do need to know each other well. We barely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Oh! Monica was probably the most popular in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. But having her smile generally feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Sit down, Flamey. We made a room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me and Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Girls have a few dress arrangements to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's been wind, so one space. Oh boy, sit Monica, one space next to Siori. Atsuki and Yuri walk to the corner of the room. The girls are whacked here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm not reading all this. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Aw, I love cats. They were like drawing icing and all that. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Here we go, the first one. Monica, I follow. It was delicious! She already takes them up with her mouthful. Already managed to get icing on her face. I took the cup around next to my fingers. Looks like I have the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Nope, but notice she's taking a glance in my direction. She waits for me to take a bite. Finally, bed down. Takes a sweet bowl of flavor. Yeah, what is she made it herself? This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I. Oh, is she a tuss on there? Oh, I know those kind of people. I haven't heard. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Mean them for you or anything? Eh? I thought she technically did. So you already said, well, maybe, but not for you, dummy. Of course, the tuss on there. I knew it. All right, all right. I give him Nagasuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Now we're to the table carrying a tea set. She a All right. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom. Don't worry. The teachers gave us a gave us permission. Oh, that's nice. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. And <laughs> don't get yourself intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Oh, <gasps> that's not. And too sweet, Yuri looks away. I meant that you know. I believe in you. I believe you. Well, tea is reading and might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles and sits to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and styles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I should tend to Monica will probably drag here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet. Sayori seemed happy here, so... It's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could possibly be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader for the debate club last year? Oh, uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics of the major clubs. Feels like nothing arguing the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'm not much rather setting personality makes something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is such a really great leader. You're also not in agreement. No, I'm surprised that there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it comes doesn't grab your attention like literature. It's hard to convince people to have fun worthwhile. 
Like school events, like the festival, more important. Oh, I'm confident that we'll grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to get find just these three. Maybe that's why they're so delayed in the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really think I can clean. Keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Flamey, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering that I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Magna? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking, and after seeing Yuri's sad smile, Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri trees the room of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep on complex fantasy worlds. Like the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. A good story is equally impressive. Yuri keeps going on, feeling passionate about her reading. I'm so reserved and the timid. He walked in. But it's obviously, I'm just not going to read this. Why am I so hooked up in the reading this? I'm actually just going to skip all this. Why not? I'm just going to skip this because I want to go to the main parts of this. Because I'm not getting any choices yet. This is... <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just gonna- Why is this so long? So we're gonna have to- Let me guess. So I guess we're literally going to have to write something. Because I took time to read that one. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh no, they're all staring at me. I'm defenseless. Oh no. Huh. Okay, I'm just gonna clearly just skip all this. This is- I'm not- I'm not- I'm not recording, like, all this. It's gonna probably take, like, hours. I guess now we're gonna have to start doing something. Time to pick words you think your favorite color will like. Let me see. I'm just gonna pick something vacation, cage, how, or dream, uh, waterfall. Crimson? I'm just picking random words here. Full time. Fireflies. Captive. Sensation. Strawberry. Amazing. Essence. Kawaii. <laughs> this down. Wrath. Defeat. I literally just. Hi again, Flamey. I have snacks here to keep my energy up. Oh. I just see you didn't run away on us. Ha 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 ha. No, don't worry. You don't change for me, but at least I kept my word. Alright, skipping all this dialogue here. I'm just giving you a promise, lady. Don't avoid commitment for you. But can you dive head first in the literature? Wasn't too complicated by it. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Oh, come on. It's like he deserves any slack. I am not a he! Stop saying that! Don't call me a he! Mary told me that you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Well, last year, too. I don't know if they just planned to come here or what. I mean, Natsuki is so arrogant. <laughs> Magnet is literature. Natsuki plus back into her seat. Oh boy. I'm 
I'm just skipping all of this. I'm literally just skipping all of this. Oh, it's like a read. Short read. No. How's this girl accidentally being so cute? Oh my god. That's literally what my husband would say about me. <laughs> oh, it's cute. I'm literally just eating while playing this because I'm literally. Lack of motivation here. Alright. I'm curious to talk to Yuri a bit more. At the same time, I feel bad from distracting her from reading. There's a glimpse of her cover of her book. It looks like the same book she says she lent to me. Other than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Uh. Oh, wait, I think Yuri's having a crush on me. Crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She sinks into another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. Blank. The death only makes her hide her face deeper into her book. Sorry. Oh, did she have a crush? No, she's just spacing out. No matter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, that's fine. If I was focused, then I would probably wouldn't make a notice the first few, notice in the first place. I'm just rereading a bit of this, so that's the book you gave me, right? Mm hmm. I wanted to read read some of it, not for any particular reason. Just curious how you have two copies of the same book. Ah, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, it's not what I meant. I mean, it's just happened. I just happen to buy two of them. Uh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. Glad we'll to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might as well have a hard time putting it down. Very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What about what's it about anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book titled Portrait of Markov. There's an obvious looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I wanted to make sure so I don't actually give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. Oh, wow. The more life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up. And most of her relationships and her life just fall apart. It's kind of, it's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, but so that dark turn came in from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of this sort of thing, Flamey? No, it's not that. It's, I mean, I can't just like enjoy these stories. I don't worry. Nope. So, yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri was into those things. She's so reluctant of now outside, and her mind seems so completely different. Those things, kinds of stories, they challenged. If strange in perspective, horrible things happen. It's to be evil, but they just. Oh boy, I'm not. I'm just not gonna read most of this. No, don't apologize. I'm lost interest. Yeah, Yuri, Yuri's acting a little cute right now. I, I'm, I'll am be surprised if I ever see Megan acting like this. <laughs> well, she does act like this in front of her husband. Katie! Why? Stop saying that! <laughs> you see it! You see it! Katie, shut up! <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, she, no, she is literally having a crush. Oh 
Oh boy. Wow, she's like a shy. She's smart but shy. Mm. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. I'm just reading this silently just to get this over with. Oh, wow. Yuri takes the left arm and holds it bigger. Oh, wow. Huddle closer. Oh, wow. The, the warmth of her face. Where's me? Oh, boy. Don't. I'm for reading. Wow. Just reading. <laughs> wow. She kind of reminds me of you. <laughs> hmm. She remains silent. Oh. Wow. Huh? Oh, the poems. Yuri was so sweet just to show me that book. Oh. Hmm. All right. All right, I guess the poem. Well, come to think of it, I, I really want to see what happens when I read it to Monica first, but Yori was being quite kind to me and all that, so I'm having trouble picking between Yuri and Monica. Uh, I guess Yuri, because she, she's nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's blushing. Oh wow. Oh wow. 